servus annulum portat. Ego annulum porto. Tu annulum portas. Cur tu annulum portas. Ego annulum porto quod. Ego te amo. Tu annulum portas et ego te non amo. Ancula coquit. Ego coquo. Tu coquis. Itawero. Ego coquo. Eoge. Quid tu coquis. Ego leonum coquo. Ow. Tu leonum coquis. <laughs> And now for some explanations. Servus portat. Just to emphasize the portat with the T. So, servus being a person, another thing, something as a subject, has a T at the end of the verb. Ego porto. Ego porto. Notice that that O is at the end when it goes with ego. When I am talking about I do something, I do it with an O at the end. Ego porto. Tu portas. Tu portas. So notice that when it's you, we end with an S. One of the cool things about Latin is those endings make them kind of independent verbs. Portas is a sentence all by itself because it ends in an S and we know that that means you, Carrie. So again, to portas. Notice that at the bottom still we have servus portat. And an ego porto and ego amo, the poor guy. Wasted energy here because she does not amat him. Notice she would amat, but ego amo, and it's two portas. Ankila coquit, and again, notice subject. We have a subject, it's a thing, something else, noun, ends in t. But we have the pronoun ego, pro, pro, pronoun ego means I, then we can end with coquo. And we have the pronoun to, meaning you, we can end with coquis. So it's all about the endings to go with the subjects. The Romans, it's, it's almost like these endings are pronouns all by themselves. O means I, S means you, and T means he, she, or it. So ego coquo, to coquis, onkila coquit. And that really ends our current focus for this particular lesson.